Cell senescence, which occurs when stressed cells can no longer divide to form new cells, has recently been found out to be a major factor in aging and various other diseases. As your body matures, an increasing number of cells undergo senescence. Senolytic medications as anti-aging therapies are a potential strategy to removing senescent cells, but researchers are still attempting to understand the significance of cellular senescence and alternative approaches to it. The University of California, San Francisco researchers claim to have uncovered how immune cells spontaneously rid the body of senescent cells. Their novel results in mice might lead to new immunotherapy techniques and ways for treating age-related chronic illnesses. Welcome to today's episode of Longevity News. In this episode, I will show you the best ways to clear your senescent cells, both through supplement or medication, and simple changes in lifestyle. The increase of senescent cells inside tissues can promote disease progression. While removing senescent cells with senolytic medicines has emerged as a viable therapeutic method, the medication's widespread aim makes practical applications difficult. Immune cells called invariant natural killer T cells act as a surveillance mechanism, destroying cells like senescent cells. Natural killer T cells, on the other hand, become less active with age and other variables that lead to chronic illness. Senescent cell removal using apoptosis inducing senolytic agents or therapies that inhibit the senescence associated secretory phenotype have shown benefit in preclinical and clinical models of geriatric decline and chronic diseases indicating that senescent cells are a pharmacologic target for alleviating the effects of fundamental aging processes. Cellular senescence was formerly thought to be an irreversible cell cycle arrest mechanism that protects against cancer, but new findings have expanded its recognized significance to include complicated biological processes such as development, tissue repair, aging, and age-related diseases. Senescence, unlike a static endpoint, appears to be a sequence of progressive and phenotypically varied cellular states gained following the initial growth halt, according to new research. A better knowledge of the molecular processes behind the multi-step evolution of senescence, as well as the creation and function of acute versus chronic senescent cells, might lead to novel treatment options for age-related diseases and increase healthy longevity. IUT is considered to contribute to the development of aging as well as a variety of age-related disorders such as Alzheimer's disease, type 2 diabetes, and cancer. Previous research has shown that removing senescent cells from tissues delays age-related deterioration and increases longevity in lab specimens. Many experts believe that the problem is to discover a technique to achieve this in people. Bouchon, a diabetes researcher, became interested in INKT cells after a prior study discovered a relationship between INKT cells and senescent pancreatic beta cells. Because senescent cells accumulate in numerous organs and are associated with sickness, he hypothesized that activating INKT cells may be utilized to treat a wide range of ailments. Scientists observed that by activating INKT cells with lipid antigens, they could eliminate senescent cells. Researchers noticed benefits in diet-induced obese mice. Their blood glucose levels improved, and they had less damaged cells in their lungs. Drugs and synthetic biological products capable of cleaning away accumulated aging cells and aging tissues have been employed in studies. These chemicals have had substantial effects on animals, such as delaying the beginning of aging, decreasing current age-related changes, and even increasing lifespans. However, at their current level of development, these pharmaceuticals and other synthetic compounds are either impracticable, harmful, or both, rendering them completely unsuited for use in people to prevent aging or cancer. Researchers discovered that when two natural substances are mixed, they successfully eliminate aged cells from the body without causing any negative side effects. Tocotrienols, the lesser-known vitamin E family members, are emerging as the optimal senolytic nutrient. Tocotrienols have multiple and complementary effects. According to research, tocotrienols can induce cellular senescence in cancer cells, reducing their malignant potential. Tocotrienols can reduce aging changes in healthy tissue, promote regular cell division and specialization, and keep cells from reaching their harmful ultimate aging state. Combining tocotrienols with quercetin, a flavanol present in many fruits and vegetables, has been proven in studies to be beneficial. Quercetin also has dual and complementary anti-aging effects on cells. 
Quercetin, like tocotrienols, can induce senescence and cause cell death in a variety of cancer cells. On addition, quercetin, like tocotrienols, has the reverse impact in healthy cells, delaying senescence in younger cells and rejuvenating older cells to rid them of their aberrant, age-promoting activity. These two nutrients work together to cleanse the body of aged cells while also aiding the natural termination of cancer cells. Several studies have now been conducted on the combination of tocotrienols and quercetin in reducing, delaying, or even reversing the effects of senescence, notably the excessive inflammatory signals produced by aged cells. One of the main reasons why aging cells are so intimately linked to aging and disease is that they release molecules that trigger inflammation throughout the body. In fact, aging cells are now recognized as a major source of chronic inflammation, which is known to cause age-related illnesses. Animal studies demonstrate that combining tocotrienols with quercetin significantly decreases blood levels of pro-inflammatory chemicals. Tocotrienols and quercetin diminish systemic inflammation in the body by reducing these harmful substances. Reducing inflammation has the added benefit of lowering the risk of aging and illness. Tocotrienols appear to play a function in preventing cancers from spreading to other regions of the body in addition to limiting tumor growth and development. Tocotrienols are integrally implicated in the regulation of tumor cell invasion and metastasis, according to studies on cultured cells, due to their precise modulation of signal alling channels utilized by those cells. Gamma tocotrienol, a member of the tocotrienol family, has its own set of anti-cancer properties. These include suppressing the synthesis of inflammatory chemicals associated with aging cells and that promote cancer growth, as well as stopping the construction of new blood vessels essential to feed fast-growing tumors, so depriving them of their nutritional and oxygen sources. Fasting and senescent cells may have a direct relationship, according to researchers. Fasting can aid in the induction of autophagy. Remember that during autophagy, the body eliminates damaged cells and proteins, including zombie cells. During a fast, you are effectively starving the zombie cells to death. Your body will replace these cells with younger, healthier ones throughout the autophagy process. You can minimize inflammation, lessen your cancer risk, and perhaps extend your longevity by doing so. Limiting our exposure to harmful UV radiation from the sun, getting the right amount of exercise, and following a healthy diet, including limiting our sugar intake to help keep blood sugar levels steady, are some of the best ways to avoid the DNA damage that leads to cells entering the senescence cycle in the first place. While we can't completely prevent cells from entering the senescence cycle, practicing seven important practices to ensure healthy DNA will undoubtedly help. When cells become senescent, they can actually destroy surrounding healthy cells, causing the damage to compound. Senescent cells are also known to create a combination of molecules known as SASP, which according to one research, is assumed to be largely responsible for persistent chronic inflammation, commonly known as inflammaging, that contributes to many age-related phenotypes during aging. There is little question that removing senescent cells is critical if we are to battle the indications of aging, and research has demonstrated that the removal of senescent cells improves various age-associated disorders. One of the most well-known methods for removing senescent cells is to stimulate autophagy, which is essentially a process in which our cells devour themselves. What is the most effective method? Fasting. An investigation revealed that in mice starved of food, autophagy was upregulated after just 24 hours, and this impact was amplified after 48 hours. Fasting encourages cells to activate the autophagy process and clean away undesirable senescent cells. Using two kinds of human cells that demonstrate accelerated senescence, scientists employed the sophisticated genetic engineering tool CRISPR to remove small amounts of DNA in order to pinpoint genes regulating aging. These cells contain disease-causing mutations that cause Werner syndrome and Hutchinson-Gilford progeria syndrome. The researchers discovered genes that prevented cellular senescence, including KAT7, which was a top hit in both the WS and HGPS premature aging human cell models. Finally, they sought to put the anti-aging CRCPR gene therapy strategy to the test in real animals. As a result, the researchers investigated the impact of inactivating KAT7 with CRISPR in mice that had aged normally and prematurely. 
The researchers observed that using viruses to deliver CRISPR components to inactivate KAT7, delivered intravenously, eased liver cell senescence and liver aging, as well as prolonged lifespan in animals aged both naturally and prematurely. Although encouraging, these benefits were not detected in other organs since the researchers only discovered KAT7 gene editing in the liver as a result of the viral therapy strategy. To clarify the function and safety breadth of KAT7 intervention, future research will need to study the repercussions of targeting KAT7 in more cell types or particular organs. In the midst of this evolving understanding of senescent cell heterogeneity, it is likely that there are still undefined populations and subpopulations of senescent cells with distinct phenotypes, distinct spatiotemporal dynamics, and distinct physiologic and pathogenic roles in a context-dependent manner. Few studies have been undertaken, in particular, to evaluate the properties of spontaneously existing senescent cells, which are believed to be the most important to aging phenotypes. While there is a wealth of preclinical evidence that senolytics may treat various disease processes or even supplement regenerative therapies, it is unclear how modulating different senescent cell populations with senotherapeutic strategies will translate into clinical outcomes, or whether senolytics differ in efficacy when used preventatively or after a disease process has already begun. As our understanding of senescence heterogeneity grows, it should become easier to utilize rational design techniques to target and destroy just the most harmful senescent cell subpopulations. Please tell us your personal opinion and regimen on clearing your senescent cells and whether or not you've had success with it in the comments section below. Thank you for watching Longevity News. We consistently report on the newest biotechnologies and supplements around longevity on society's path to curing aging. Please support our cause by liking this video and subscribing to not miss out on any new videos.